All right, y'all, so here is the front door. If you were here when I did the front door makeover where I painted the door, I showed that this was silver, so I decided to go ahead and spray paint this black. Now, I did film it, but I lost the footage somehow, so I don't have to show you that, y'all, but it was very easy. My husband taped around all of the door for me, and then I went ahead with this spray paint. It's like two something at Walmart. I do need to get another one because I didn't do the inside yet. I only done the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and do the inside too. But let me show you the inside. This is the same color was on the outside. So yeah. But definitely looks a lot better. Looks very nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and spray that door down and clean it as well here. But let me show you what I'm working with for the decorations. So I've got some stuff from Dollar Tree. I've got some stuff from Amazon and some stuff that I had here. So this is a welcome sign. I did a DIY on. So this is a welcome sign, y'all, that I did a DIY on. Now, it first started out with the letters being white because that's what I wanted. And I ended up messing up on a couple of the letters because they were they ended up being a different font. So I <laughs> did not have any more vinyl to replace the white. So I did buffalo check. The buffalo check was too busy. So I took that off and I decided to go with this black. I feel like it's okay, but at the same time, it's not giving me that color that I want. So I'm going to outline it with white and see how that comes out. I'm hoping I don't mess it up. If I do, I can always turn it around <laughs> and, you know, go from there. But that's what I think I'm going to do really quick. So let's go ahead and get into that. Alright y'all, so I'm very bad at outlining this. Oh my gosh, it was so hard trying to make it look good. I'm just really going to redo it, I think. Let me know at the end of the video when you see it, what you think I should do. Whether I should um, do white vinyl, should I leave it as is, what, should, what do you think? Because I'm going to definitely redo it. I feel like it can look a whole lot better. I think I'm just going to even maybe um, just use the other side for the welcome sign. It is the same color stain and just put white vinyl. Um, I need to order some because I'm out. That's the whole reason why I'm having to do this in the first place. But I think it looked good for the meantime. And I want to say thank y'all so much for coming back and watching another video. I hope y'all enjoy this mobile home makeover. I love doing makeovers, y'all. Um, I have a few planned that I'm just going to start working on. I want to get all of the makeovers done in my house. I want to get all of the painting done and everything. So I hope y'all are ready for all the transformations and more decorating and all of that good stuff because... I'm going to be on a roll with them. I'm going to try and get them done because I do plan on starting my business back up, y'all. And I want to get all of the hard work around the house over with before um, I do that. But I do still have outside to do. Um, so once I'm done with the inside, I will be moving on to the outside. I've got so many ideas already for the outside. All right, y'all. So this is how it looks. It's not perfect. After it dries, I'm going to go ahead and clean the vinyl to get all the excess off that but I mean it looks a lot better you can tell what it says a lot easier now so I like it uh, eventually I will redo it with white vinyl so but for right now since I don't have any vinyl this will work so I'm gonna go ahead and get started over here so I have this flower pot here y'all I have two of them and I was like I want this by my front door so I got some flowers these are artificial flowers that are made for outdoors that I'm going to be he go ahead and put in there. I picked up a couple gnomes from Dollar Tree. These were in the $5 section. I've got some fake pumpkins in there. And I also have, these are the fake pumpkins. And I also have a new um, front door mat that I'm going to be using. I also have a basket in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this done really quick and get it put together. So 
I thought this was such a great idea. Does anybody else do this? Um, it just came to my mind and I was like oh my gosh that's such a good idea so I actually did um, go on Amazon and I looked for artificial flowers to use outdoors and sure enough they had some now I don't know how well they're gonna hold up or anything they're not gonna be sitting directly in the Sun so um, they may hold up very well so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other flower pot for the back door. I think that'll look super cute out there as well. A lot of people think my front door is my back door and, or my, yeah, the front is the back and the back is the front. So I'm, I can't wait to bring a lot of love and decoration to the front just to make it more cozy and more inviting so it does feel like the front. <laughs> um, because once I'm done with the inside, y'all, it's all about the outside and I have so many things planned. I cannot wait. I guess that's just the joys of having your own home and here is what it looks like it looks so beautiful I cannot wait to do a makeover on that flower pot and make it pop but it's so cute I just love it so much and I do plan on changing the flowers every season so it'll look really cute so I haven't gone to Dollar Tree y'all in forever so I decided to stop by and see what they had and they do have the five dollar section now they had these cute gnomes for five dollars a piece so of course i had to grab a couple and also they had a tear tray that i grabbed that i shared with you in another video that i just had to have as well so here i am y'all i'm going to go ahead and decorate this basket now this basket i had that i used actually in another project i had flowers inside of it but i did not have a spot for it anywhere in my home um, so I decided to go ahead and just use the basket out here to put my pumpkins in. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just fill it with this buffalo plaid um, material that I have. It's more of a table run. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it all up and just let a little bit hang out on the sides just so we can see the buffalo check hanging out a little bit um, because I just love the buffalo check y'all and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the pumpkins in there I'm gonna put as many as I can put in there So this is how it looks I think it's so cute so I ended up putting one of these gnomes right here behind the door alongside of a few pumpkins and the welcome sign y'all it's so cute um, definitely worth the wait even though it was late um, I love it it's so cute um, over here I did put the other gnome right by the door and that is the basket that I filled with pumpkins. I think it looks super cute too. Now as you can see the welcome sign. And one of my favorite additions y'all is this flower pot. It is a big flower pot. So pretty. Brings some color to the front door. But yeah y'all that is what the front's looking like. I think it looks so cute just to put some color and some decorations by the door really quick. 
Alrighty, y'all, that is it for today's mobile home makeover. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye, y'all.